Have you ever wondered, why do we have margin spacing in our notebooks? Is it just to look neat or is there any profound meaning and purpose behind it? I myself never thought that margins speak to us till I got introduced to the world of graphology. Handwriting is a complex form of communication as it involves various components to function in an integrated manner. Our fingers occupy maximum space in the brain. There are billions and billions of cells in our human brain that are interacting at jet speed. Highest percent of brain cells are active when we write. When we think, and write it is written with impulses being released from our brain. I am sure you must be surprised to know the reason behind it. Originally, margins were not made to leave space for outraged teachers' notes. The truth is that, in the past, books were often victims of mice and rats, who liked to eat away at the paper. In order not to let the rodents eat pieces of information with the paper, people started to leave empty spaces around the edges, where the damage was most likely to occur. In simple to save the written information, long run to avoid the damage of books from the mice or rat. People used to leave space, that is margins. Because most of the damage occurs on mice bites throughout the edges only. So people used to leave margins space, to protect the written information. Why is there a red line on notebook paper? At the left edge of every sheet of loose leaf notebook paper, is a red line. It's called a margin. It gives the writer a boundary that should not be crossed. The original purpose of the margins was to turn in homework assignments, no matter what subject. A teacher is used to returning the homework with notes and comments written in that area. So friends now you must have better understood that why this occur, we hope that you have learned something new from this video, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, thank you very much for watching this video.